It's 834, new on Daybreak, a free clinic in Hamilton County helps people who don't have health insurance. The clinic is busier than ever and on the move, too. News 8's Katie Wisely is on the story. Clinics seeing a lot of people these days. Yeah, that's right, you guys. Good morning. So they say that by the end of the year, they hope to see more than 1,200 people, which is a bigger number than what they've had before. They've been around for 10 years, but now they say they need help more than ever. Old wow. turkey. It's a good day for Terry Lentz. Maybe that's why your blood pressure is up a little bit. And that today. could be. She's quit smoking and is putting her health first. Now, is it okay if I take it at night? I always take my stuff at night. It only took a quick Google search for Lentz to find Heart and Soul Clinic. It had been so long since I'd been to the doctor, had run out of my medications couldn't afford to get them. The 62-year-old lost her job last December and decided to take early retirement, but that left her without health insurance. When you're a poor person, this place is a godsend. There's an estimated 30,000 people in Hamilton County without health insurance, and the clinic says that doesn't count refugees and those who are undocumented. Other free clinics in the area provide more immediate care. We're kind of the only one that provides ongoing chronic care. The clinic provides the cost of labs for patients due to a partnership with Riverview Hospital, hoping to deter those without insurance from rushing to the hospital. Diseases such as diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease, they lead to very bad events over time, and if those conditions aren't controlled, um, people get very sick and then end up in the emergency room without insurance. That costs us money because those people get care, but they won't pay the hospitals. A special relationship with Westfield Pharmacy allows patients to get medications at a low cost. I only have to pay $5 for my medications. The clinic operates on less than $200,000 a year. That comes from nine ongoing yearly grants and private donations. People Again, think of Hamilton County. It is the richest county in Indiana, but there's still many, many people that, that are in need here. This mother is one. She says she lives with a constant mental struggle. If I would be dead right now, or almost well on my way, that's where I was when I found this place. Now back on track, thanks to free help. Well, doctor, thank well, you so much. Uh, you're welcome. Good to see you. The clinic has a mobile unit which travels to food pantries around the area. They partner with Grace Care Center and are there three days a month. Plus, they also make stops frequently to Carmel United Methodist Church. Scott. Good to know about. Katie, thank you. It's, uh